from the 6th of the 5th month of 1438, Satan and the fight between different political parties. Al Quran 2815 narrates how Moses, Musa, entered a city when its people were not paying attention to find a couple people fighting. Moses deals the death blow to the guy from the other party and attributes the act to Ishaitan and his alleged misleading. Certainly, it was still Moses doing the physical deeds, and he had to go through hardships as a result of his haste to react violently. So it would seem that it was either just an accusation or that Satan was there to encourage the sorts of crime within a nation between opposing factions that people would have wanted to do anyways. The passage goes on to mention his fervent plea to God, fear, the same guy starting problems again, fleeing the people after he is warned that his manslaughter was discovered, his sojourn in Midian, you know, Western Arabia, and return to lead a rebellion against the king, Firaun, per Ah is the great house in the Egyptian language, priest, Ha-man, you know, house of Amun, and propagandist, Arun, exalter of the name, is what that means. Moses did not, uh, Moses did not stay firm with the strife of Satan. Sometimes a person or people needs to go away to regroup. An individual rebellion with no real cause may not profit. But a well-thought-out and collective opposition to the official high priest, the book, and the congregation can be successful in a number of ways. When the matter has been considered in detail and seems best, we must be ready to be adversarial to the secular and allegedly sacred authorities.